Hello test takers, welcome back to exam prep solutions and today we have some more conceptual problems. It's going to be involving water resources, um, a bit of hydraulics here. So we're going to get into these problems now. We have a guide, the five steps to solving any FE exam problem. You can find that guide in the description box down below. Uh, it's 100% free, just tell us where to send it. Anyways, we've got two problems here. Let me read the problem descriptions. So the first one is biochemical oxygen demand can be best defined as, and we've got four options there. And then the second problem is as the vertical head of a of fluid in a tank increases, the flow through an orifice in the bottom of the tank will do what? So go ahead, take your time, try and solve these on your own, and then we will get into them. Okay, so let's do this. The first one, biochemical oxygen demand can be de best defined as. Now, if you've taken environmental engineering, you've probably heard of BOD, biochemical oxygen demand. demand. You might know this definition right off the bat. But if you're not familiar with everything involving BOD, let's go through each of the answers here, think about it, and see what maybe our best answer could be. So for answer A, it's the demand of oxygen needed to continue to grow organic matter. Okay, that makes a bit of sense there. The demand of the water source to preserve the natural ecosystem. Now this one doesn't even mention oxygen, so I'm thinking maybe not B for this case. We're down to A, C, and D. The answer C is the oxygen required for wildlife to continue to reproduce. Okay, possibly. And then D, the amount of oxygen consumed by bacteria and other microorganisms while they decompose organic matter. So we're looking at A, C, and D. Now, C is too vague in my opinion. The oxygen required for wildlife to continue to reproduce. What wildlife? What kind of wildlife, right? Feels like too vague of a definition to really make sense. So it's down to A and C. The demand of oxygen needed to continue to grow organic matter and the amount of oxygen consumed by bacteria and other microorganisms while they decompose organic matter. And we know that BOD demand is definitely a, a very pivotal part in environmental engineering and determining how much uh, bacteria we can have, how much toxic material can be dumped into lakes and streams. And so I'm just gonna tell you right off the bat here, it is D, it is answer D, the amount of oxygen consumed by bacteria and other microorganisms while they decompose organic matter. So we got down to A and D, D was much clearer and uh, correct definition there. So you can see with these conceptual problems, even if, th even if there's nothing on them in the FE handbook, you can narrow it down and then I, you know, take an educated guess between A and D. I just know the definition is D. Okay, let's get into the second one here. This is another kind of conceptual problem where the information is available in the FE handbook. You just need to think about it, right? You need to uh, analyze it, uh, look at the equation, and then think about the trends uh, within that equation. So this one is as the vertical head of fluid in a tank increases, the flow through an orifice in the bottom of the tank will do what? Will increase, decrease, stay the same? Or do we not have enough information? So if we look at our equation here for uh, orifices, Q equals CA naught root 2GH, right? And it's got a diagram here. So we're thinking about vertical head of fluid in a tank. So the H value is increasing, right? What is gonna to happen to our flow? Now we do have enough information. It's definitely not gonna stay the same based on this relationship. So is it gonna increase or decrease? So if you had 10 uh, head of fluid here, uh, Q would be a certain value. What if you had 20? Well, even though it's square rooted, it's still multiplying this entire value. None of the other factors are changing. So the flow would increase. So we're gonna go with answer A for this one. And we can just look at that by looking at the relationship of the problem Plug in sample values if you have to, to try and identify that relationship there. So that is two sample conceptual problems you could get on the FE exam. Let me know if you have any questions about those in the description down below. If there's any problems you'd like to see, let us know in a comment. And anyways, we'll see you guys next time.